In this video, I'm going to explain all 13 material shading models in Unreal Engine in under 3 minutes. In Unreal Engine, materials are the skins of the objects in the game. A shading model is the algorithm the engine will use to determine how that material reflects light. Different shading models have different demands on the processor. Some shading models are cheap to render, meaning they add a relatively small amount to the time needed to render the material, while others are relatively expensive to render. Alright, so let's get started. The default shading model is default lit, and is meant to mimic the way most objects reflect light under normal conditions in the real world. The unlit shading model means that the material won't be affected by light at all, so the material will always look the same, regardless of if there's a really bright light shining on it or no light whatsoever. Because it doesn't have to perform any light calculations, this is the cheapest shading model to render. The subsurface shading model is used to simulate the real world effect of subsurface scattering, where light will penetrate a surface and then scatter within it, just below the surface. Real world substances that do this are ice, wax, skin, and certain gemstones, such as jade. So you would use this shading model when trying to simulate those kinds of materials. The pre-integrated skin shading model is just like the subsurface shading model, except that it's specifically designed for creating lower quality, higher performance skin. So the skin won't look as good as using subsurface, but it's cheaper to render. The subsurface profile shading model is also just like the subsurface model, except that it's specifically designed for creating higher quality skin. So if you want your skin material to look as realistic as possible, and you're not concerned about performance cost, this is the best shading model to use. The two-sided foliage shading model is another subsurface shading model, but this one is used specifically for foliage. So if you think of a thin piece of foliage, like the leaf of a plant, when light shines on it, you should still see an effect from the light on the other side of the leaf. The clear coat shading model is used to simulate materials that have a thin, translucent layer of film over the main surface of the material. So think of materials that have a thin coat of clear acrylic, polish, glaze, or lacquer, such as the paint job of a car, carbon fiber materials, bowling balls, and so on. The hair shading model is specifically for creating hair materials. The cloth shading model is used to simulate cloth or any material that has a thin layer of fuzz across the surface. The eye shading model is specifically used to create realistic looking eyes. It is such an advanced shading model to use that Epic Games doesn't recommend you attempt to create your own eye materials unless you are a professional. The single layer water shading model is used to create water materials. The thin translucent shading model is specifically for creating thin translucent materials that are tinted or have some color in them. This is a very expensive shading model, so for clear translucent materials, you should just set the blend mode property to translucent. The final setting available on the shading model property is from material expression. This technically isn't a shading model itself, but a way for you to specify what the shading model should be within the graph, instead of just hard coding the setting through a property. Alright, so that was all 13 material shading models in Unreal Engine in under 3 minutes. If you're interested in learning more about shading models and materials in general, check out my Unreal Engine Intermediate course. You can find links in the description below.